Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back to House of Virgo. This is a Virgo channel only. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. These will be love readings for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Hello everyone in the chat. Welcome back. Happy weekend. If you want to get a personal reading from me, I still have a special I'm running through the end of, or the rest of February. My uh, link to book a reading with me is in the description box below this video. You can also join my channel and also I have a new announcement. I have something fantastic that I have created and I will be posting a link in the community section here on my channel for you all to check out. So please, please, please make sure you go over and check that out. Um, and once I post the link, I'll be announcing it in my videos. All right, you guys. So super fun and exciting. Okay, Virgo, welcome to the drama. Let's see what's going on here. Um, we're going to take a look through the rest of February going into March now. I cannot even believe spring is almost here for some of you. I guess you're going into the fall, depending where you are in the world. But wow. Let's take a look. What is Virgo's drama? Cupid's arrows. This is how we like to start. Okay. Have faith. Love is coming. Or for some of you, it's already here. Surprise invitation or meeting. Um, okay, let's take a look here. Some of you are going to be getting, well, you know what? I think Valentine's Day is Monday. Okay, so Cupid's Arrows, this is perfect for Valentine's Day. Maybe a um, surprise message or a surprise Happy Valentine's kind of thing happening here for some. Okay, Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings. So this feels like a new love situation happening here. Uh, growth, change, liberation, and transi transition. All right, cool. Oh, and a love call. <laughs> Virgo, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Some of you have ended a relationship in the past. You just said, that's it. You're done. You've moved on. And now you're getting a love call. Someone expresses their love. Um, there could be a message or a text. Thinking of you, letting you know. Could be Happy Valentine's Day. Um, something along those lines. Very beautiful, but love is coming. And I feel like it's because you've gone through so much growth and change here. You've transitioned. You've put the past behind you. Um, some of you are getting your nails done for Valentine's Day. You might be, somebody's asking you out. Maybe Valentine's weekend. And this is what I was going to tell you guys that I'm doing this reading for Valentine's weekend. So you might be going on a date. Maybe you have someone that you're already connecting with. And there's an actual beautiful Valentine's Day date of some sort. Or, you know, getting together, going out to dinner, spending the whole day together. Um, somebody, I know you guys, some of you might be working on Monday. So there could be some flowers sent to your work. Uh, maybe you get flowers at home if you work from home. Uh, something very sweet. Some of you might just get a phone call or a text from someone, you know, and this is kind of like a surprise how I feel. Now just be mindful, you know, um, if you don't get this message, some of you are going to get a delayed or a belated, which kind of just kills the mood, but it's definitely coming. There's going to be some type of, like, expect your phone's going to ring. Um, I'm hearing somebody has somebody's ringtone on. I'm hearing, is it Samba or Sencha or something like that? Um, or popcorn, like a popcorn text alert. I just heard the popcorn text alert or chimes. For some of you, it's just chimes or something along those lines. It's like a unique sound for the um, either the the ringtone or the or the text tone alert. It's a it's a unique sound. All right, let's get some love messages here. 
Okay, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Beautiful. Don't you just love love? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. I feel like a lot of you have just been in this position of not giving up hope on love and really staying like, just staying in, the, in a very love, uh, vibrational love energy. Very sweet. All this pink and black, like these are my colors. Your soulmate. You've got a soulmate connection here. Somebody's connecting with you. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh my God. I'm like, I don't even want to finish this reading. It's just, this is love drama, but it's not bad. It's very positive. All right. Let me get a couple of Moon Pie Tarot messages here because we need to find out what is going on here. Who is calling you, Virgo? Who is reaching out and, you know, doing some lovely romantic gestures um, or inviting you somewhere? Uh, or asking about meeting up. I definitely want to say that there's a tad bit of hesitation that comes with this. Maybe for some, this person is someone that you ended something with and they're hesitant to reach out, but they're going to do it anyway. All right, let me see. Give me a couple of one of the moon pie messages here. learning a new skill okay so for some of you it's either while while you are in school um, or you're in class or you're in a school or it's on the job like it's a surprise you're busy learning something you're doing something and something comes through okay somebody all right so i'm picking up capricorn energy for some of you um this is a very I feel um, obsessive, like somebody's very uh, sexually attracted to you, crazy, you know, like your aura is shining bright, and I feel like there's somebody here who's almost very addicted to you, they're very greedy, um, they're just obsessive, sexual lust, okay, okay, this person, so they're bored, right now in their life, whatever's going on, they're bored, you bring them some type of va va boom with your it's like vag nation over here for the females this is some kind of like like your vagician energy is just kicking up <laughs> you're so vagical <laughs> i could go on with this you're just vagical to this person <laughs> okay all right so capricorn we also have scorpio energy um yeah the end of suffering is upon you You've got a whole new thing happening here that this is either a recommitment or love coming back in from someone you were connected with before, um, or it's a new love happening. I just see this, the season is changing here. This is the start of a seasonal change. And I, I'm, I'm hearing for you to just go with the flow with this situation. You don't have to do anything, just go with the flow. All right, let's get into the tarot and oh i don't have my deck here left it out in the other room all right let's get into the tarot and see what's going on because or who this person is what the energy is what how this is playing out i feel like somebody's been waiting for you waiting for the right time to love you um, or to just give their love to you waiting for the time when it's safe somebody here is wants you to feel safe with them as they express their love to you. They want you to know that um, this is, for some, for some, this is something that somebody's never done before. And this is something they've recently learned, um, maybe about you or something that you like, or maybe you told them something that you like, um, or they were, if you were, if you're currently talking to this person, they're asking you, you know, what do you, what do you like? Do you like chocolate? Do you like flowers? Do you like, you know, cards? Do you like quality time? Trying to understand your love language is what I feel like is going on here. And then I feel like once they could be asking over the weekend, and I feel like once they get a hint or they have an understanding, 
you're gonna you're gonna be getting someone expressing this cupid's arrow energy somebody expressing and they're asking to take you on a date or go somewhere with you okay i love it bring on the love bring on the love all right let's see okay we have a pisces okay somebody this person is hiding in the shadows okay they've been praying at night wow four swords um <clears throat> this person they just think about you or they have been thinking about you when they lay in bed at night they're praying for an opportunity to connect with you looking for an opportunity or a way to i feel like they're having dreams about you these are like subconscious dreams they've been dreaming about you or this this person some of you might be dreaming about somebody as well but i feel like this person lays in bed at night and they think they have these wild dreams of you these wild fantasies of you and they also have dreams about um, both of you being in more domesticated scenarios so it's kind of like a little bit of both you know this person thinks about it's like daydreaming but at night because <laughs> i feel like it's sometimes this person may just kind of sit back on the couch or something and relax and maybe they doze off i see somebody dozing off or taking a nap i don't know they just kind of doze off and then they're, they're having these daydreams about you or they just think about you all right there's cupid's arrows eight of wands i'm telling you somebody here whoever's listening i don't know who it is is getting some love messages coming in quick coming in fast some some news it's like it's very positive about some changes some change some it could for some it's changed can we can i change your mind about something for some of you if this is somebody that you've ended something with and for others this is somebody new can i try to change your mind about about men about women you maybe you had some past things and now you're looking for an opportunity where you feel safe or feel safe okay this two of pentacles honestly somebody's going to take you to like a magic show <laughs> feel watch some jugglers so to speak um i also see um two people like walking outside of a city you know or walking through a park getting some refreshment warm refreshments and seeing street performers or something like that it's like it feels like a, a um like a really kind of nice kind of date sort of thing you know hot chocolate with mar like little heart marshmallows in it <laughs> this feels so valentiney it's not even funny um gosh and they just told me this person dreams look at the um stained glass window i don't know if you can see this but there's somebody up here who's standing up and someone here who's bent at the knee some of you are getting proposal this person has been thinking about offering their hand in marriage getting down on one knee it's very traditional but it's very lovely you are listen to me <laughs> you are definitely getting a love call here that phone's going to be ringing you're going to hear from somebody and you know what virgo i think you're going to be like so happy to hear from somebody here or to to hear um these loving messages or somebody inviting you somewhere i feel like this is this is like a very strong soulmate energy it's beautiful let me see what else is going on here okay going after that wish fulfillment eight of cups traveling somebody's coming to see you connecting with you maybe you're far away some of you might be have to travel to see each other if you're at a distance okay yeah some truth clarity this person is crystal clear about what they want here and what they want with you and their expression towards you their love offer or invitation or expression even though it's hesitation with them 
And I think that's just not that there's anything wrong. I think everybody has a little bit of hesitation when they're going to open up their emotions or share some intimate moments with someone, you know, because it's um, an act of vulnerability, you know. There's always a fear of rejection to some degree. But I feel like this person's going to give you absolute clarity about how they feel about you. Over the weekend into uh, next week, definitely. Um, around Valentine's Day. Surrender. Somebody here is like totally defeated. They are Ten of Swords energy. They are surrendering to this love, to this connection here. Okay? And for some of you, this is, this is something that ended in the past. Or this person, um, you know, this could be your past person, where they just kind of feel like you ended it because nothing was happening pretty much i don't really feel like it's because you don't love this person or you stop loving somebody now mind you this is not for all of you um but for some of you I, I don't feel like you stop loving this person i just feel like you stop pursuing a dead end and you just had to you know nail that coffin shut with them in terms of the relationship and i feel like this person is you know getting clear getting clarity about <clears throat> how they feel about you and they're using this cute little heart holiday to express their love or to invite you somewhere. So if they're not expressing their love, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, if they're not, um, you know, if, if, a, if your phone rings or there's a text message or something and this person's not coming right out with, I love you so much, I'm in love with you, I want to be with you just the invitation you might get an invitation or this person um you know it's like something or ask to meet up with you it it's still love call is what i'm trying to say it's still a you know connecting because of love here i mean i just feel like this person has hit rock bottom and even if it's somebody new i feel like this person is like getting some courage to make this offer to you okay knight of pentacles here solid offer not flim flim willy-nilly you know in and out kind of offer the knight of pentacles i don't know did i say king of pentacles i meant knight of pentacles is reliable this is the offer that you want you know the knight of wands is passionate the knight of cups is you know it's it's lovely you know um the Knight of Swords is assertive energy, but the, the horses of those knights just are constantly in motion. This knight is not going anywhere, right? Yes, this knight could move. They could keep moving forward, but this horse is at a standstill. I feel like you're the last stop for this person. You're the last stop. That's what I'm going to call this reading. That's what I feel like is going on here. There's nobody else. This person doesn't have anybody else in their life. Even if they do, it's no one that they would get down on their knee and offer their love to. You know, they might have friends and family and, you know, things like that. But there's something about you that's special. You're the one. You know, I don't know if this person uses the term soulmate. They definitely feel the energy of soulmate. But you're the one that's worth waiting for. And being with you, if they have to wait and keep waiting and keep waiting, they will. Let me see what else is going on here. I just love this reading already. Wow. Page of Cups. Here you go. Communication, flirtatious messages, a new love start here, uh, sweet messages, maybe some selfies or sharing pictures back and forth. Um, look at his pantaloons they're in the shape of a heart minus the pointy part at the bottom but this is a love message a love call i feel like somebody here they might be um i'm picking up pisces energy um this it, i know i said that already could be an earth sign as well but you know we're not focused too much on the signs if a court card shows up that'll really play out more but um this person they somebody either i feel like they live near water they're on a beach 
Or somebody lives near a beach? All right, let me see. And I'm seeing like leopard print. <laughs> leopard print. Let me see. Okay, there you go. Just when I said that, wait for a court card. So the King of Cups is showing up here, which is generally Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. But the King of Cups is very supportive and tolerant, has a lot of empathy, very nurturing and a healing type of an energy, but keeps the emotions deep within. Really doesn't wear his, his or her heart on the sleeve. Okay, doesn't share. It's very more like reserved with the emotions, as all the kings are reserved with their emotions. Um, feels them very deeply. And that might be why this is a surprise. Okay, because that's how this is showing up. And that's what it says here on Cupid's Arrows. Surprise invitation or meeting. Um, your person doesn't have to be water sign, but the way they, the description of the King of Cups is how I feel this person is. And for them to actually be reaching out, um, <clears throat> they're using the holiday because it's a holiday of love. And I feel like this person really does love you. And I feel like they do want to share or they have deep admiration for you if it's somebody new. And they do want to express in some way, get that message across to you. Um, it's not common for this person to be this way every day. Um, so maybe around holidays, they are a bit more affectionate or, you know, like in this case, Valentine's Day or on your birthday. And it's very beautiful energy. Let's see what else is coming up here. I feel like it's weird. Looking at this King of Cups, look at how this, this King is just peering. I feel like this person, either they've been watching you or they currently are, um, or they just have their eye on you, you know, like peering at you. Oh yeah, nine of wands, uh, hesitation again. This is a big step for somebody here to come out and give you some clarity and give you some truth about how they feel. Um, nine of wands. So somebody, some of you, I just have to say, this is somebody new coming in, okay? And for others, this is a past. This is a return. Although the return, I'm only feeling that for, they're giving me like 15 or 20% of you. The rest of you, this is all new. This is all new love energy. Usually the King of Cups does represent Pisces, and I keep saying that. So either this person's a Pisces or they have Pisces in their chart heavily or heavy water in their chart. But the hesitation here with the nine of wands, I feel like this is, this person has been, they've been in the ring, they've been in the fight and they finished about and they went back into their corner. And they've been sitting in their corner trying to figure out what their next moves are. That's how I feel when it comes to love and when it comes to you. And I feel like this is this phone call or this message that's coming or this surprise invitation of some sort is well thought out. They've been thinking about this. Um, they've almost, for some, trying to set it up so that you can't reject them. <laughs> It's just really strange. So that you can't say no. It's it's a bit strategic. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit strategic so that you have no choice but to say yes. <laughs> I'm giggling over here. <laughs> okay. This person will follow you anywhere, Virgo. Wherever you go, lead the way. Even if they're limping. Look, what do you, you guys, what do I always say? show up at my door with your leg cut off below the knee and you're walking around on your bloody stumps just to show me and prove to me you want to be with me well there you go look at that person they got crutches and they're walking around with a peg leg stump and you're leading the way and i feel like man talk about serving talk about serving the magician master that's what i feel like is going on here um this person does not like to be left out in the cold they might be in a cold area right now. Um, maybe they're ill or they, they have um, having an issue with the leg at this time. 
um, which is just a little something. If this is somebody new, I mean, yeah, you could be dating someone with a peg leg, like, uh, or, and I guess as we would say it, an ortho, what's it called? Um, prosthetic, excuse me. Please, if anybody gets defensive, please accept my apology. Um, I don't mean to offend. Um, it's just the first thing that came into my mind. Um, but a prosthetic leg, this person, you might find out. Or they're in a cast, or they're in some kind of a boot, or they're on crutches of some sort, or they hurt themselves, yet still are willing to come and meet you and, you know, whatever they have to do. Okay. Um, now, somebody might be giving somebody a ride to a hospital as well, or a doctor's office or something. All right, let me see what else is going on here. Okay, that's the divine timing. So we have Sagittarius energy here. Okay. See, this whole thing, I feel, uh, you guys are, you know, you're in the chat and you're stressing. I'm never going to meet anybody. Eh. You know, you don't know what those angels are doing behind the scenes. And I feel like you need to understand that divine timing is at work in your love life here. This is what the angel is doing. You see how the angel holds those, holds those two cups? Well, those are the two cups of love, right? This is like preparing, um, mixing up the emotions here, preparing for the two of you, um, warming the warming warming those cups cups of love up before you guys actually come into union worth waiting for here this is what i feel like is going on here so i know a lot of you have been struggling or stressing about meeting somebody but i feel like here um you really don't have to because whoever's meant for you will be coming for you and whoever's not meant for you um just won't be for you there's nothing you can really do there's no sense in pursuing somebody i mean i mean i speak mostly to the women uh, the the feminine i should say pursuing relationships um it's really not it's not feminine at all and for the men i feel like yeah it's feminine if you are not pursuing you know, um, I think it's okay to get up the nerve if you need to have the confidence and shoot your shot. I mean, you would do that if you were on the basketball court, wouldn't you? You do your best to shoot your shot and you know you might miss it, uh, miss the hoop, but you're going to do it. So I just kind of get a sense here that when the timing is right, which I feel like is coming up here, it's the timing <laughs> it really feels like Valentine's Day, okay? So we have the Five of Swords, the Seven of Wands here, okay? So I feel like your person has many people who are interested in them, past, present, or possibly future. But it feels like this person's a bit of a heartbreaker because he's holding those three swords, you know? I feel like some of you have turned a heartbreaker into a lover. Or will be. And this person, I feel like if you know them from before, they've been fighting it off, fighting it off, not trying to get caught up in their feelings about you, but something's going on here. Angels are working some miracles in this person's life, and it feels like they're coming to terms with the fact that, yes, this is a soulmate connection, and it's very beautiful. All right, so here's the second court card now. We have the Queen of Wands, so Leo, Sagittarius, which I already said, and Aries. Um... I feel like this person comes in as someone who's quite bold. Their, their, their behavior is bold, taking action, and that might be a surprise 
to some of you because it might not be something that you're used to. Somebody's coming in here and they are pursuing this connection and they're taking a, a leadership role in pursuing this connection. And this is for the, the masculines, okay? Um, because I feel like somebody here, males or females, whoever, somebody, it's a surprise. This is a behavior that either you're not used to or this person's not used to, you know, being that way. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. A bit of a surprise. Obviously, somebody has a cat. I feel like somebody has a cat. Oh, wow, now we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Now, for those of you who like women, you've got two women, two females chasing after you. And you just need to know that. You're going to get a couple of offers. You're going to have to break somebody's heart because you might have someone from the past you still want to be with or you might have two people that you need to choose from, okay? And for those of you who like males, um, this is somebody who is it's very strange, uh, not strange, oh, forgive me. It's a very like, this person is not a shit stain. This person is not a shit stain. If they were a shit stain and you were involved with them before, uh, I feel like that has changed. Cupid has poked them right in the ass with a big fat archery arrow. Big time. There you go. Knight of Cups energy coming in. Okay, proposal. This person admires you so much. They think you are so amazing. I feel like if this person, there they are dreaming about you or trying to picture you and them in different kinds of scenarios they try to picture you in their life how that would look um they try to picture themselves in your life how that would look they picture you laying there next to each other and talking about all of your stories your history um, making that deep, strong bond with each other. I mean, it's just, it feels like the soulmate connection. So the aspect, I mean, this could be your twin flame, but what I feel like picking up here is that this person is coming in, in that soulmate energy also, where it's like, I've met my best friend. This is my best friend. This is someone who I feel safe with. This is someone, this Virgo, I can talk to. I can open up here. I can open my heart to give and receive like the best of the best here. This is just beautiful energy. So I feel for some of you, this person is making a love offer. There is no doubt. And even if it doesn't seem like it, or you're not sure, like this person be calling you, I'm gonna say it, they could be calling you to say they left something at your house. Um, they could be calling you uh, or texting or messaging you. Um, it doesn't matter what they say, okay? Whether they're coming through with, you know, hey, let's meet or whatever, or just something like, have you seen the latest whatever, or this is your ex you have kids with? Can you believe what, you know, like, how do I, how do I get this insurance card? Whatever. It doesn't matter. The action itself is because this person is thinking of you and they want to try to let you know that they love you in some way and they want to be with you. They want to see you despite the hesitation that you may sense from them. And the hesitation could be they're right about to kind of call and they're just on the tip of saying something to you romantic or loving and then they hesitate or they stop for a second because they're a little unsure and then you know they then put a nail in it like forget it it doesn't feel like the right time i can't i'm too scared or whatever and then they ask you about something mundane and then uh can we meet because i need uh, I need to get those papers back. Like, listen to me, Virgo. Whatever the message, it doesn't matter. Don't pay attention to the message if it's not a loving message. It's the fact that 
when two people really have a thing for each other, like they really love each other, you only need one sign. There's only one sign that you don't have to spend all your time analyzing and sorting it out and sorting through the words and the actions. The only thing you need to know is when someone is truly interested in you and there may be loving romantic feelings toward you, they'll never be far away from you. They will always find a way to connect with you. They will always find a way to stay in your life somehow. Somehow. It could be the, just the, this, it could be the goofiest things it, or they could just be straight up with it. But anyone who doesn't make effort to be in your life or, or orbit or be around you in some way, then that person just sees you as a friend, okay, and only a friend. And that's how you know. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. You don't need to guess. You don't ha need to ask me for tarot card readings. Although I would be shooting myself in the foot if I say don't do it anymore because I actually really like connecting with all of you. But quite frankly, it's not complicated. It's really not. It's very simple. Um, and I know some of you know. I know some of you are like, yeah, that's true. This person or there's someone in my life is always like there. I go to the store. Wow, I see them. Or I'm, you know, I pass by this like area at work and they're always there or they pass by my desk, you know, or I keep seeing them around or uh, all of a sudden they're at the coffee shop all the time, you know, or I go out to walk my dog and, and they're walking their dog at the same time. It's not stalker. And that stalker is like creepy or or they're always messaging you or or you know maybe there's a little time in between at times but they don't leave that's love that's somebody who's intrigued that's somebody who wants you know i don't know why they can't specifically say it maybe there's insecurity or maybe there's an issue with rejection or you know it's never because they're not sure if they weren't sure, they'd be completely gone for good. They wouldn't keep coming back, okay? Nothing in this reading screams narcissism to me, so we're not going there. This is just basic love 101. That's it. Basic love 101. Nothing complicated. Nothing deep and dark. This is child's play love this is crushes this is candy this is those little heart messages that you might get maybe you bought some recently those little heart-shaped messages candy messages okay all right they're throwing a couple cards at me here okay denial detach with love to clearly see the truth and boundaries firm boundaries are needed now okay You know what this really tells me in this message here? A lot of you, when this when this comes in, a lot of you are going to put up this really big, fat, <laughs> 8,000 foot tsunami wall, okay? And just say to yourselves, uh, this isn't for me. This person, no, this can't be. This can't be for me. This person can't possibly be in love with me. There's no way they love me. No. You know, I'm not looking at the, the print underneath here because I don't feel like that is really what the message here. I'm looking at this. You're sometimes you think they're boundaries that you're putting up, but they're blocks that you're putting up because you're in denial about your worth or your self-worth or how this person might feel about you because some of you have had some serious trauma and you've had some damage. You know, Virgo, everybody has it. You have to just make a decision now. Y you can decide to live with your trauma and decide to live with your pain. And you can make a decision to stay there and remain victimized by your past, which is completely over with. Or you can still live there if you want. You have the choice to heal. You have the choice to turn things around. You have the choice to start getting your faith back and start believing that you're worthy of it. I feel like somebody here believes that about you. Okay? Now, I know I'm not speaking to everybody here. 
all right this is just for certain i mean I, lord knows as, as a leo virgo cusper i sure as hell don't feel that way about myself i'm like guess what y'all i am the shit and that is it and anybody that doesn't see that that's their problem so right here i feel like this is a really important message for some of you okay turn those frowns upside down getting a better energy about who you are start loving yourselves start valuing yourselves turn around do what i do you know what i'm pretty awesome i'm awesome that's just a fact who's gonna argue with me go on change my mind go ahead i'll debate you about it that's your attitude has to be really because you're gonna get you're gonna fare so much better in life it's not narcissistic it's just saying, hey, you know what? I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Anything that anybody did to me in the past, that's a reflection of them, not me. I'm not in control of what other people do. I can't, I can't make, I don't have that kind of power. If they treat me good or they treat me bad, that's all on them. I take no credit for the way people treat me or don't treat me. All right. My little, my little, little rant there. Okay, passion. Try something you've never done before. So a lot of passion coming in with this connection, for sure. And you're going to be married. You're marrying this person, Virgo. Now, if it's if it's not actual, like, officiated marriage, it's a sacred union for sure. This is your person. And they see that you are theirs. You're one and only. Some of you, I see you. I don't know who this is. Who is this person? Who is it? Well, if you don't know who it is right now, you know, just wait, because the energy still has to play out for some of you. Now, for those of you where this was a past connection, we're going to take a look. I'm going to see what the hidden truth messages are from this person. I feel you leaving me behind. Okay, that's the coffin energy. Like I said, some of you just, you may not, all right, some of you may not have actually given up on the person, but you gave up on the relationship. Does that make sense? Some of you still love somebody, okay? But you decided you're not pursuing it anymore, right? And you can do that, you know? You don't have to stay in a relationship that isn't working. You can still love someone. <laughs> even if the relationship doesn't work you can of course you can still love them love is free there's no boundaries there's no anything with love okay only when we're hurt do we put boundaries up to love so this person here they, they they're getting a sense right now okay um prior i want to say as i'm making this video prior to um valentine's day and you know even if not on Valentine's Day, this person, like I said, is a belated message. Belated message. Um, they're definitely getting a sense that you're not investing anymore and that you're leaving. And I don't feel like this person wants that to happen. Okay, there might have been some lies in the past. So somebody here regrets lying to you about some stuff or something. They replay their con your conversation over and over. So this feels like um, they think about the things that you've said. This, you know what? I know some of you are like dissecting those conversations yourselves. You're trying to figure out what did, what did that person mean by that? Or why did they say that? Or why did they do that? Um, this person does the same thing, Virgo. You... A lot of you, and I don't know who specifically, are sitting in this position where you get, you're getting played. And that's not the case because this person feels like they're getting played. How about that angle? How about that angle, Virgo? How about you stop thinking that you are always getting played? How about you start trying to see it from somebody else's view? Okay, every time you put up walls or boundaries, every time that you give up or you stop contacting this person, they're thinking you're doing it, the same thing that they're doing, that you're, <laughs> get it together, girl. They're thinking that you're doing it on purpose. The very thing you think they're doing, they're thinking the same. How about that angle? Okay, it's not an angle, that's what I'm seeing here. Because I feel like somebody here, <sighs> I feel like you might have been connecting with someone that just wasn't taking a lead, a leadership in the relationship in the way that you needed them to. 
if you were already together, they weren't putting their energy in in the way you needed them to. And you stopped investing and this person, I feel like they think you stopped loving them, which I don't feel like you did. As I said, you just stopped investing in the relationship. Now that's for a past person. So for somebody new, if you have been talking to this person, I feel like this person truly has unconditional love for you um, in the sense that they just they just see that you are so sweet and you are so kind, like childlike in a lot of ways. Like they see that innocence about you. So loving you like, like um, somebody would love a child, you know, that kind of unconditional love, want to give you direction, want to protect you, uh, want to love you, hug you, uh, keep you safe, that kind of energy. Okay, so we're getting a lot of past stuff here, and I feel like the past person does love you unconditionally. Um, they had a really hard time with you putting that finishing nail in the coffin there. They had a really hard time having to let you go. And I don't feel like this person is letting you go. I just don't. I don't feel like this person letting you go. And and whether this is somebody new or this past person returning, there's marriage in your future here, the sacred union. It's 100% going to happen. It might even be happening to some of you right now. You're connecting with someone and it's just this person is like getting in this energy of expressing their love in the way that they know how may not be in a way that you expect it but in the way that they know how they've been thinking of you and they want to tell you and they want to let you know you know either by actions or verbalization uh, some type of communication okay um how much time all right we're gonna get into Let's get your messages here. See what your dates, see what your initials are showing up here. What this love energy is. Birth dates, anything else that might come up. Spirit, please show Virgo if this is their reading, if this is their person, or if this is somebody new. Or if it's just for this specific person. If the dates that show up don't resonate for you, don't worry about it. There will be other little messages or things that might give you some inclination. Aries energy, picking up strong Aries. Okay. Um, all right. Somebody's got a globe in their house, you know, like a, yeah, a globe. What else can I say? It's either like a globe, a map globe of the earth. Or it's like some kind of globe, you know, maybe it's outside in their garden or somebody's got a globe. I'm just picking up a globe. Somebody really likes uh, or has been watching that Boba Fett thing on, um, I don't know, is it on Netflix or whatever? It's a Star Wars Boba Fett thing. Somebody's been watching that uh, and I'm seeing Luke Skywalker. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. Luke Skywalker. Okay, let's see. What else? Uh, we have the letters M. We have a letter I. And that could be initial, last name, first name, whichever. <gasps> Holy sh... We have the Emperor and the Empress. This is a match. Forget it. There's Libra here. This is a match. This is your person. Remember I was just asking if this is Virgo's person? I don't care what sign is. I don't care what your signs are. These two go together. Empresses do not go with kings and emperors do not go with queens. This is the highest level that you can be at. Um, okay. You're just telling me somebody's birthday is on... Uh, I guess whatever, it's either a birthday or it's a date of um, April, like around Easter or something. I don't, I don't remember what <laughs> what date that falls on. Why don't I remember that? Um, somebody has gold curtains or gold fabric somewhere around them. Okay. Oh. 
Blu-ray. They just said Blu-ray. All right, I don't know what that means. Something Blu-ray. Maybe it's Blue J or Blu-ray. Oh, and then they just gave me an image of a carved Halloween pumpkin. Why, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm also picking up a cobblestone street and I'm also picking up brick, like orange brick wall, orange brick wall. Um, somebody jogs or just finished jogging or maybe you're jogging as you're listening to this or running or doing some exercise. Okay. I'm picking up some very heavy something's happening in April I feel like there's going to be a wedding actually in April of this year I don't know if somebody's actually going to set a date get married or um, there's going to be some type of wedding celebration or dance or an event some type of um, something like that an event um, somebody's getting a new job Maybe in April, I'm just hearing. Um, traveling back home to work. Okay, so I'm picking up September 4th. I'm also getting the 3rd. Um, the 17th. Oh. Um, okay, so, okay, the letter J, we have the letter E, we have an O, G-O, J-E-O, G-O, maybe, um, or J-O-E, Joe, okay, so somebody is recently... Um, there's something to do with growing plants, okay, so, or starting some plants, seedlings or something. Um, and I'm hearing arborist, something to do with um, planting trees, or some maybe somebody's an arborist. Hmm. All right, so I just got a really weird vibe. Um, um, somebody, uh, I'm here, I'm seeing like a tarot card party or a psychic party, tarot card party, or somebody's purchasing, um, going, actually going to a fortune teller or a tarot card reader, um, If and it's not me. But if you are doing that, be very careful um you gotta kind of vet this person like this is not someone that i feel like you see on youtube this might be like something that's like somebody has a little shop or tarot shop or something down the street or somewhere that you're going to with some, maybe with friends or by yourself just be careful because i feel like this person's like a money laundering thief <laughs> Like they'll take your money, um, a f like a fraud, in the sense where um, they everything they so it's what they say to you um, does not resonate, does not make any sense to you, and you are. I feel like if you get the reading, I'm seeing somebody getting the reading, and once you get the reading, you're gonna be like, this was shit. This was absolute shit. You're what are you talking about? And then you try to get your money back and they're like, nope, no refunds, get out. So you need to be careful with that. I'm seeing the letter S. S is in Sam, Steve, Steven, Stephanie. Um, S. Yeah, if you guys haven't listened to my What's Your Soulmate's Name on my channel, go over and check that video out if you haven't listened to that because they were just telling me somebody needs to go listen um, or pick a crystal 
Um, your soulmate's name will be in there somewhere, or you can listen to the whole thing because the names are very unique, okay? Um, and yet, predictable names as well. It's a big mix, so go check that out. Um, okay. Somebody's got, um, I'm picking up the letter A. I'm not sure if I said that. And also Z. I hear E. AZ, AZ, AD, Addy, Abby, AZ. Okay. Um, so, yeah, a big, something with the number 10. Very significant. 10. Um, somebody is 51. Somebody is an 11 year old, definitely. Uh, somebody is also 54. Okay someone birthday august 15th um somebody has a grandparent or, or a parent who's either turning 85 or just turned 85 or somewhere around that age um okay i'm hearing jack or jackie or jacqueline jack uh, somebody's birthday is August. It's in the 20s. It's either like the, the 23rd, 24th, 25th, like all the 20s of August, the end of August. We've got birthdays in there. They're not being specific. They're just saying in the 20s, August 20 something. I know that's not. Okay, 25th, 28th, 21st. They're giving me 24th. Okay. I don't know. Are you, is somebody watching a special on, um, whoa, that's freaky. Okay. Um, it's either a special documentary on Antarctica or the Arctic, the polar caps, but there's, um, there's a, a, somebody sees a face in a polar cap. <laughs> this is so weird. It's a, like a face in a polar cap or it's like a, um, a body is revealed from either it's an alien or it's Neanderthal kind of thing. Very strange. I don't know if that's gonna be coming up. I might be predicting that. That could be something in the world that I might be predicting coming up here. Or, or I, because I, I don't watch that stuff, so I don't know. I don't even, like, I don't believe in aliens. But that's, I know. You're like, how can you not believe? It? I don't know. I'll believe when I see it. I don't know. I, I maybe I believe in aliens, but I don't know about all this UFO stuff that's going on in the news today. I'm just kind of like, I can't tell. I can't make heads or tails of stuff because with all the Photoshop and all the stuff people create, I don't know what's real and what's not. Even, like, I haven't read any, any of the government stuff, so I don't know. So I, I won't really comment on that. I take it back. Um, all right, let's see. Somebody's watching an X-rated movie. <laughs> okay. We're just going to leave that right there. Um, so I'm getting the letter G. Okay. Um, oh, they just gave me an L. Or I'm seeing some... Uh, also not aura uh, they're giving the letter l and i'm seeing neil the d either somebody kneeling or somebody's name is neil as well that's so weird neil i don't think i've ever had that n-e-a-l or n-e-i-l or maybe somebody's last name is o'neill okay oh hmm okay some um Victoria or Val, uh, Victor, um, or a name that starts with a V, Ver, Vernon, Vern, Va, I can't, Varn, somebody's last name is Varner, V-A-R-N-E-R, -E alright, last one, and then we do the charms, okay, alright, somebody's got one of those hourglasses, the sands of time i don't know is that was that like a soap opera is that still on these are the days of our lives is that still on i don't even know um 
there's an hourglass. Somebody's flipped an hourglass. Maybe there's a game. Somebody plays a game or has a big, um, beautiful like hourglass antique of some sort. Oh, and um, somebody's tulips are starting to come up. Okay, they're uh, spring annuals in the spring. Well, I guess that wouldn't be an annual. That would be a perennial, right? Okay, let's get your charms. All right, I'm only going to do these. Okay, we have a beautiful Siamese cat. We have an infinity symbol, also the number eight. Snowflakes and fearless. Very beautiful. I feel like we got these. Somebody has a cat named Snowflake or a pet named Snowflake. There's definitely something happening here. I feel like over the winter, um, wherever you are over the weekend, if it's going to snow, this is definitely your message. Um, big fat snowflakes or snowstorm of some sort. Somebody here is fearing, feeling fearless. I feel like that's your message here is to be fearless during this time. As love comes in, be open to it. Um, or if you're pursuing love, um, be open to, to not being rejected and getting what you want here. Okay. Um, I'm, this cat is like a princess cat. Okay. This is what I feel. Somebody's, I'm hearing infinity, something to do with infinity. This is like a princess cat. Okay. It's like, or somebody has, how can I explain this? Like, um, maybe it's something hangs off your key. It's a little bling bling like um crystals or gems on the tail of a, of a beautiful um cat i don't know i hate that my camera doesn't let you see let me see if i can i don't think i can do it but yeah it just does not let me oh well it's just a very it's like a siamese cat and she has like a little scarf around her neck or um, a bow tie of some sort with like she's got like little bling crystals or gems around her tail i feel like it's hanging off somebody's keychain it's really because if your cat has crystals on their tail i mean i don't know how the cat deals with that <laughs> shaking it off <laughs> all right you guys i'm gonna leave your reading there that was a lot of fun happy valentine's day weekend I hope that you get these love messages and, and that you get that love offer coming in um, over the weekend and through a, on Valentine's Day. And if you didn't, here's my Valentine's Day wish for you. I love you. Thank you for all your support on my channel since we've started. We're on our way to 20K, which is great. And uh, yeah, so Virgo, have a wonderful weekend. I will see you all very soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you.